Life is won and lost in the small details. If you want to create your dream life, lads, you've got to be consistent and you've got to be precise. Like this life I've got right now, living in Dubai, running a great online fitness business. Like this was all a vision, guys. But I've been so obsessed over the details. I knew exactly where I wanted to go. I knew exactly how many people I wanted to help and my goals are expanding. I knew exactly where I wanted to live in the world, Dubai. I knew exactly where I wanted to live on the Blue Waters Island, which is one of the best places to live in Dubai. And like, guys, let me just show you while I'm here. The view like is ridiculous. Like this, this was all, this was all planned guys. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I made this happen. Like, it was just from pure obsession. Every single detail. Like when I looked at myself years ago, when I knew if I was like deeply honest with myself, I don't. I think the thing is, guys, I think a lot of people aren't deeply honest with where they want to be. They like, like everyone at five years old is like, I want the car, I want the lifestyle, I want to live in the sun, I want the muscle, I want to look good, I want the fittest girl, like. Everybody starts off wanting it, but society just programs everybody to lose these dreams. It's like, oh, it's not all about, it's not all about looking good. It's not all about having the best job. It's not all about having the money. It's not all about living where you want. It's not all about looks and it's just bullshit. Like, it's not about what, what you fucking need, guys. It's about what you want. And if you want something, you go get it. But when I knew what I wanted and I was deeply honest with myself, I weren't who I needed to be. I was a simp, you know, I was some skinny fat dude, pale, nothing going, no good habits. Like, no wonder I weren't here. So I just became hyper focused on the small details. And I literally wrote down, and I went, right, write down a list of all of my strengths and write down a list of all of my weaknesses. So I started off by working on my weaknesses i was like okay i've got too much body fat i know i want more muscle mass i know i've got no confidence i know my communication skills are poor i was very shy at the time when i was younger so all of these weaknesses my goal was i'm going to turn these into strengths all of my strengths i then started turning even stronger and that's it guys like if you just become very self-aware on who you are what's good what's not so good even ask other people around you, ask your family, ask your friends, ask your partner. Like, where do you think I'm, I'm lacking, guys? Like, you know, some things you can't change, guys. But, you know, go all in. Do whatever it takes to, to become who you need to be in all areas. And if you simply just focus on who you need to become and making the weaknesses strengths and making the strengths even better and living by habits that are put together in daily non-negotiables that you just do every day to enhance all of those factors about you guys, you'll just become somebody that can create that life for yourself. Now, everyone wants unique things. Someone's just revving the event to go downstairs. Um, everybody wants unique things. You know, some people may want to be in the Maldives. Some people may want to be in the Bahamas. Some people may want to be in London, Dubai, Bali, America, Miami. Everyone's got different goals, but if we're all real, we all want the best stuff. You know, it, it's very normal. It's biology, especially those lads, guys. Like, I mean, it's a status symbol. If you just think to animals, they're all tufted in the feathers. It's status. You need the best body. You want to look the best you can look. It's not about being the best looking person on the planet, but in your own eyes, you should be because you should be becoming the best you can possibly be. That's what it's all about, guys. So. Like, guys, I want you to create your dream life. I want you to create your dream you. Become who you actually know you want to be. Just be totally honest with yourself and go after it. Because when you become the best you, you will be where exactly where you want to be. So obsess over the small details. Just like a professional, guys. I talk about the pro amateur mindset all the time. The pros are committed. The pros obsess over the tiny things. You know, like amateurs say, oh, ignore the small details. No. If you think like now I'm like, oh God, my eyebrow, like that's getting fucking, fucking sorted guys. Like if I'm like, oh, you know, like one of my left, my left delts like a little bit small, get it fucking that. Like every single thing that you let slip, that's somebody else's advantage. Whether it's 
trying to get the girl you want, the house you want, the lifestyle, the job, the clients. Like, guys, someone is going to be obsessing over those details that you're not and is going to get everything you want. So just focus on you guys. Keep this simple. Live by daily habits. I always talk about them, guys. My top five daily habits, you're going to wake up early. You're going to get some education in, in the morning, personal development or mindset book, or even like an audio program, a course on something that's going to help you build your skill sets. Train every day, build the best asset. If you want to get to Mars, guys, you've got to build the spaceship. Then you're going to hit your macros from your meal plan, or if you're just tracking on something like my fitness pal, this Aventador is, I don't blame the guy, it's smart to be fair. Um, and then finally, guys, just quit the vices. You can't have the parachutes behind you. If you just go all in on you guys, anything is possible. Now, I've got a Pokeball arriving. I'm gonna get back in and then get back to work, guys. Back in the lab. See you soon, see you in the next video. This is the catch up over.